Is paying for massage actually worth it? That is what we want to talk about today. Now, there is a huge caveat on this in that it really depends who you're paying, um, how good they are, and we have other content trying to help you guide through how to make sure you get a good massage therapist. But let's just presume that you have one, that you've got a good massage therapist. So is it actually worth paying for? Bearing in mind in the UK that you're looking at probably nearly a pound a minute in most places, particularly if you're in the South and London, and is it worth it? The way for us to work this out is we're gonna take all its actual functions. We're gonna go really functional. What does it do to the body? We're basically going to beauty school. When you learn to be a massage therapist, this is like 101. This would be your opening, opening section of the body systems and how massage affects it. And I would be very surprised at the end of it, at least one thing on the list didn't prove that massage is right for you. So number one for me is circulation. Obviously, massage is physically helping things circulate your body. Number one, blood, which carries oxygen, nutrients, all the things that you need to regenerate your body, as well as taking away bad stuff. And that also applies to your lymphatic system, which is the part of the body. So what bad stuff's going away in the blood? Well, it might be lactic acid if you've been training. It might be from metabolism, things that need to go back into your renal system. Essentially, you are physically aiding that process and getting out. Gas-wise, though, predominantly. Carbon dioxide. And any waste. Yeah. Okay, so blood circulation, because you are physically pushing and yeah. moving blood. Now, lymphatic, Luke mentioned, yeah, just carry on. Um, lymphatic. Is that the reason I'm here? Yeah. Okay. Lymphatic system. Concentrate. Alongside your blood circulation system, you had a lymphatic system. Now, you, the way you'll know about this, when you were little, if you were ever ill, did your mum ever go, oh, your glands up, oh, oh your glands up? Ow. It, they didn't say it was your lymphatic system, but that's what it was. Those are um, your lymph areas. You've got a section on your neck where white blood cells are fighting, fighting off any invaders, essentially. Um, so your lymphatic system is massively important. So basically like, think of it as your body's washing machine. Your blood is going around transporting all the gases. And meanwhile, your lymphatic system is moving around cleaning essentially. Like it's, it's, it's your washing machine. It's really, really very important to your health. And massage will help lymphatic flow. So it physically pushes it because your blood has got a heart to move around and push that flow. Lymphatic hasn't. What are the other thing that moves lymph? lymph exercise. Yeah. So massage and exercise are pretty much the only way that you can get that lymphatic um, movement, like going through the lymphatic vessels and the fluid. So yes, hit number two, lymphatic. The one that most people probably associate with massage is the effect on the nervous system and relaxation, the power of touch. It's, we all know it works. It's one of the best ways to relax. Massage is wonderful for it. The, the effect that it has both, I think, emotionally as well as physically. And is that essentially like, it is literally soothing nerve endings. Yeah, it's calming. I mean, it's why when you stroke a baby, they react. I mean, you should see Charlie when you massage him for bed. Like he literally- That's our three year old, by yeah. the way. <laughs> Not, yeah, he he was the most massaged. Well, maybe. Like yeah. he is the most demanding massage guy <laughs> you've ever come across. <laughs> he knows way too much about technique and if you don't get it right. But essentially, yeah, it is, it's the power of someone else giving you their energy but also the physical impact of someone stroking your nervous system and calming it down. Nervous system. One that is quite surprising is your digestive system. Now, this really only works if they do massage the areas around your digestive system. So if they let you have a stomach massage, some, some spas, some therapists do it as standard, some ask you, a lot of women in particular say no. I would try and encourage women and men both to say yes particularly if you have um, a sluggish digestion tract, like if you suffer with um, IBS or bloating, as gross as this sounds, Delightful. you can actually, a, a, a therapist will physically massage your stomach in the direction the colon is going. Makes sense. Pretty much trying to push poo around the colon. I mean- Nothing but the truth. Nothing, nothing but the truth. Get out what you put in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are aiming to get out what we put in. So, but it works. It definitely works. Again, like with our children, if they've ever been constipated or, you know, been struggling, yeah, it works. Yeah, so... Why wouldn't it? Try not to. If you're feeling bad that your six-pack isn't there or um, any women having massage, if you've got cesarean scars or you're embarrassed about your stretch marks, like genuinely 
massage is massively beneficial in that area. So try not to try not to refuse for our digestiveness. Yeah. Next on the list is my favourite and really the one reason that I prescribe to massage and all the others are absolutely valid. And if you're massaging or getting massage, you get all those benefits. But for me, like muscle, like the impact on muscles. So, so your muscular system. Yeah, essentially. And so obviously the years playing sport, building up tension that could be sitting at your desk. For me, it was generally playing sport because you're damaging your muscles. That's how you build and adapt to a situation. It is really helpful for someone to come and ease out that tension, push, actually physically align the fibres in your muscle. and Which, for, for most and, of and us on the to, street, yeah. when you say, oh, that's a knot, yeah, yeah. or can you feel that knot, or you feel them in your back when it just yeah. like flips, um, a lot of that yeah. is that, isn't it? Where yeah, or if you've been sitting at your desk and you stand up and you can feel, like you can physically feel the tightness. That is musculature, and then so you, and massage is a great way. Have loads of fibres in the muscle, yeah. and then they can bunch up, can't they? Yeah. And essentially, what a massage therapist or sports masseuse is trying to do is trying yeah. to. I mean, the, the the extreme of this is like an osteopath, who use extreme manipulation, and extreme massage for people that have, you know, a very acute problem. If that you, if you have an acute problem, definitely go and see someone beyond a masseuse. But for general realignment and allowing your muscular system. To repair, massage, awesome. And the male favourite, lactic acid. Yeah. <laughs> Buzzword. Yeah. Get it out. Get it out. Um, which it will. So the massage yeah. system will actually help help break down lactic lactic acid as well. Mm. Fatty bits, cellulite. Okay. So <laughs> if you get good massage around your glutes, i.e. your butt, um, and upper legs. You physically can actually, now there is no promises, like don't believe any therapist who says, I'm going to get rid of all your cellulite. Um, but you can actually help break down that fatty, those fatty deposits, all the better if you're doing exercise and a good diet <laughs> with it. But Key, that along really. with the lymphatic movement, massage is on the list if you do have lots of cellulite as an option to try amongst others. But yeah, it can be a really, really strong part of it. Brilliant. And then fatty the one... Bits. The last thing we've missed, the brain. Mm. What does the brain need? Oxygen. And as we were just talking about at the very beginning about increasing circulation, it increases blood flow to the brain, <laughs> which means you get more oxygen. Indian head massage is a great example of this. Um, and it really does stimulate blood flow and getting that hit of oxygen to the head, which is why you feel so great afterwards. It's why Indian head, which essentially is scalp massage, is, is actually used quite a lot now as part of treatment for depression. I don't know yeah. if you remember years ago, no, no. I did a really big project for um, the prison services, actually teaching inmates to um, deliver Indian head massage um, to other inmates because it was part of yeah. their process of dealing with depression and dealing with anxiety um so it sounds silly like obviously all the massage we started with it moving around and boosting oxygen in the blood but it's it's so localized it is literally Don't like stop. i am booming oxygen into your brain and it feels good <laughs> I mean, it really does it's an absolutely awesome treatment so if you've never had one that's actually a pretty good one to start with some people are quite Cautious about you know lying down, having someone mash the whole body. Maybe start with the head massage. It has all the benefits, well, nearly all the benefits we've just described. Um, a little bit less invasive. And if you're not convinced yet, last one on the list. Thing that keeps us all together, skin. Like, sounds a bit surface now. Massage keeps your skin together. No, no. take me so literally. Oh, These lot no, they wait for the next sentence. Okay. Um, so. Sounds a bit surface now. We've kind of done like the whole of your of your of your body composition, but fundamentally, obviously, remember when someone is massaging you, whatever product they are putting on is actually yeah, nourishing, getting absorbed into your skin, treating your skin, and a bit gross as well. You won't feel it. Therapists do sometimes. Um, they are physically sloughing off yeah. the top dead oh, layers of your skin. Like sometimes you can be massaging people's back and you literally can be feeling the Romans were, rolls the of Romans skin were mad keen on this. coming off but it the back. it is an example of why you should be using good products. Yeah, and we have done some videos on this about why you shouldn't underestimate massage oils. Like 
Yeah, like the, I mean, if nothing else, like the ability to allow the masseuse to do her job, a good or glide his job. or his job. Yeah, a good glide, for instance. Yeah. It's not just a standard old bog oil and so many, even ridiculously expensive yeah. spas, therapy clinics, they're using crap, crap oil to do it. Yeah. Um, and also you're just missing this entire opportunity, 60 minutes of just pure vitamin infusion yeah. and omega fatty acid infusion if you have got the right oil in play. I am 100% so I didn't need to sell me on why I needed massage right, but I, I'm only asking myself why I don't have more massage yeah I think actually that is probably the much more pertinent yeah. question coming out of this is I was actually I went to an amazing event this week that was um, full of press people involved in skincare and people who like me should know more and, basically and I kept bribe, hearing them basically say basically bribe them with massage didn't you we yeah and I was kind of the most popular woman in the room because I was massaging them um but the thing I heard repeatedly so I'd be massaging their shoulders and they're like oh I just I never treat myself I just I never oh, I, it just I never give myself the luxury I never find the time I never treat myself really truthfully if you listen to that list it is not a treat. Like, it it almost should go into a necessity, a well-being, a more of a medical camp, frankly, because to it have good, that much profound effect, like, yes, it's not cheap, but genuinely, we really all, and us two included, really should think about how you should weave it more consistently into a monthly routine. But it does loop back to the point at the beginning that is key, which is get a good masseuse. Find one, keep them. And if you need any help or advice with that, then just hit us up, put, put a comment. We all we'll always try because that is one of our drives in the world of training therapists to do that and also just trying to arm you with the knowledge as, knowledge of what to avoid <laughs> and what to not waste your money on please 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 if you have friends that talk about massage like it's a treat and like it's something that they shouldn't have stop please them. make sure that you get them to watch this video that you share um please subscribe please give us the thumb massage pet massage <laughs> Thumb up. Yes, that one hurts when that goes in. Oh, um, <laughs> and let us know what we need to help you with next because this is what we want to do. We just want to literally keep putting out free, free content. Helpful, making your life better stuff. Yeah, there is, there is nothing else for us. We are so non-branded, it's ridiculous, despite the fact that we have two skincare brands. Really? Because... Oh, <laughs> Fundamentally, that's not at our core. Our core is education, our core is help. Um, between us, we've got like 40 years of sports, sports psychology, massage. Nutrition. Nutrition. I mean, it's just, it is, it would be so wrong not to share it. It's so wrong to tie for anything paying for it. So please, please stick with us and share and let us.